So the motu corporum in girum is um, um, a small tract that uh, Newton sent to Halley in November 1684. It is uh, the beginning of a great intellectual adventure for Newton because it is from this uh, tract that uh, uh, you can conceive this tract as uh, the origins of Newton's Principia. Um, why was this tract written and communicated to Halley? The story is well known. Halley visited Newton in 1684 asking him a very difficult question concerning the relationship between the shape of the planetary orbits and uh, the force that causes planetary orbits. Uh, Newton had the answer, but uh, so he said to Halley, could not find it in his uh, archive, and so he promised to send to Halley the reply to his question concerning forces and planetary orbits. And uh, the answer is uh, this little tract that contains uh, what one can find in uh, the first sections of Book One of the Principia, and also some propositions concerning resisted motion that were integrated in at the beginning of Book Two of the Principia. Now, some of the ideas of De Motu were set into motion, if I may say so, during a correspondence with Robert Hooke, which took place in 1679-1680. Hooke had an idea concerning planetary orbits. According to Hooke's hypothesis, planets move in void and uh, the Sun exerts a force on the planets, bending their orbits. This idea certainly uh, generated a lot of researches in Newton's uh, uh, mind, but uh, uh, we don't know exactly what Newton did in between 1618 and 1684. What is certain is that by 1684 he had a very good answer, both to Hooke's and to Halley's questions, and we can find it in this uh, uh, manuscript.